Hello! In this video, I will be discussing money bowls, what they are, how to create one of your own, and how to feed your money bowl after you've created it. So with that said, let's get started. What is a money bowl? A money bowl is a prosperity bowl for financial success or for abundance. A lot of people will create a money bowl and then put it on a prosperity and abundance altar, but a lot of people also just have it stand alone by itself in an entryway on your nightstand, etc. Um, some people say that it is sympathetic magic, so it is a physical representation of something that you would like to achieve in the near future. Uh, some people call it spicy psychology because you are using affirmations while lodging things deep into your subconscious mind to manifest later on when you're not consciously thinking about it. Um, and some people will also call this just the law of attraction, like attracts like. So whatever you believe, however you believe this works, it totally works. So I'm going to show you how to make one. Now, before we get into how to create a money bowl, I would like to discuss the timing and how to time your money bowl appropriately. A lot of people will create their money bowl on a new moon, which signifies new beginnings and a fresh blank slate. A lot of people will create it on a waxing moon, which is when things are starting to happen and you're starting to take action to achieve your goals. And some people will even create a money bowl on a full moon if they're really looking for that heightened energetic state for manifestation. I personally like using a new moon for for a money bowl. The only thing that I would say is maybe not doing it on a waning moon while the moonlight is disintegrating. That is typically when things are breaking down and getting ready for the next cycle. So if you want to perform a money bowl, I highly recommend working with the moon phases to help you be a little bit more successful. And you might want to look into some astrological or astronomical uh, timings as well. Jupiter is a planet that is excellent for prosperity and abundance. And I would highly recommend invoking Jupiter into your money bowl working if you feel confident enough to do that. There's a couple different ways that you can invoke Jupiter. You can meditate and say a, there's so many different prayers and mantras that you can find online easily for Jupiter. So you could meditate and ch chant to Jupiter or you could simply, the easiest way is to perform your spell working on a Thursday, which relates to Jupiter. Jupiter rules Thursday. Or you could also write a symbol of Jupiter down and put it on a piece of paper, put it into your money bowl and invoke Jupiter that way. But Jupiter is a planet that I will be using. I will also be using Venus as well, which I'll explain a little bit later in my video why I'm using Venus. But um, now that we've covered the timing for your money bowl and the appropriate time to do that, let me show you how to make the money bowl. Also, disclaimer, I am a very tall person with very long arms and I apologize for the camera shaking in the next little bit. My arms are so long, I did not realize I was hitting the tripod like every five seconds, so. Nailed it! <laughs> Super fun. Anyways, here is how to make a money bowl. Okay, so here I have a few different ingredients. It's important to note that you can use any ingredients you want for your money bowl. Just make sure that it's something that pertains to money, wealth, finances, abundance, prosperity, whatever that means to you, feel free to use what you'd like. And there are tons of books out there that'll show you um, what magical properties each herb has. There are trees, gemstones, uh, trinkets, anything that you can imagine, symbols. So there's a lot of different things that you can put into a money bowl. But here's an example of what I have. So I have some rice up at the top here. Rice is really great to use in any spells for abundance or uh, prosperity. I also have three bay leaves here and on each bay leaf I have put in dollar signs in threes. And I also have three sprigs of cedar in here as well that I will be adding. I have an herb mixture, which is basil, thyme, and cinnamon, all great for money, wealth, finances, abundance, etc. And then I have my coins. So I have a US currency because I live in the United States, but I also have some international coins in here as well. One of my goals for my money bowl is I would like to be able to travel internationally comfortably um, at least once a year or every other year. That is a goal that I have. So I have included foreign currency into my coins to help me manifest that international travel. 
Now on the tray here I have a green candle and what I will end up doing is carving a sigil. I will create a sigil for um, the phrase I attract money. So I will carve that sigil into my candle, anoint it with my money oil and burn it while it sits next to my money bowl. Now, I have this money bowl here. You can use whatever you like, but I really, really like gold bowls for this. Gold just really exudes um, wealth and abundance to me. So I have this little gold trinket bowl here that I will be using. I also have my manifestations that I've written down on paper. So this first one here has my sigil on it. I attract money. I've made a sigil, put it on this piece of paper, and I will end up putting that in the money bowl. This one, I am invoking uh, Jupiter and Venus into my money bowl working. Venus is really great for um, things that you attract, and it's also, a lot of people don't know this about Venus because everybody thinks that Venus is love and relationships and beauty, but Venus actually rules over finances and the home too. So a lot of people don't know that, but I will be invoking Jupiter and Venus, so I've written both of their symbols on this piece of paper. And then the final piece of paper here is my affirmations of what I would like to uh, get from this money bowl. So I've written down things in the present tense as if I already have them And that's something that's really important for spell work is that when you are writing your Manifestations down you want to write them in the present tense as if it's something that has already happened Therefore you are bringing it into reality um, And uh, assuming that it's already happened and by the law of attraction like will attract like your brain doesn't know the difference between what you have Manifested and what you haven't so it's important to make sure that you are saying to your brain to yourself um, and lodging it into your subconscious mind that these are, these are things that you already have. So I've said things like, I attract money. I uh, it have My money allows me to travel internationally comfortably once a year. My money allows me to blank, blank, blank. You can insert whatever you like here. So those are my affirmations. And then I have a Ganesh statue here as well. Um, I've worked with Ganesh before. I'm not huge on deities. I know a lot of people do a lot of deity work. It's never been a big thing for me, but I do enjoy Ganesha. I really like that archetypal energy that he brings. So you can choose to invoke a deity and have a little statue here if you have a deity that is very much about abundance and prosperity. So I will have Ganesha here with my money bowl. I have some quartz. Quartz is really great for amplifying whatever spell working it is that you're doing. So quartz is like a very general blank slate. You can kind of program it to do whatever you want it to do, which is really nice. Um, so you can add it into any spell as long as you are uh, putting your intentions into it as well. Quartz is great for that. I also have some green adventuring. Green adventuring is really great for money, wealth, finances, etc. And this one I really loved because it's actually in the shape of a coin. So it kind of represents money to me with that green color. Uh, again, I'm in the United States, so my color, the, the color of my money is green. So um, obviously that will be different in other countries, but that is why I chose the green candle. And then I have three sticks of cinnamon here. Cinnamon is another great ingredient to add. And you'll notice I have threes a lot here. I have three pieces of paper, I've got three cinnamon sticks, I've got three bay leaves, three sprigs of cedar. The number three is excellent for manifestation. So I highly recommend working with the number three or doing things in three if you're trying to manifest something. Um, and then in the back here, I don't know if you can see it or not, but I have this little tiny elephant, which also is great for prosperity, um, and it's made out of green adventuring as well. So those are all of my ingredients, and what I will end up doing is putting my papers in first, and then I will start with the rice and work my way around. That way these pieces of paper are buried deep in the bottom. I can't go back and access it. It's kind of like a set it and forget it type of thing. You want to put it in there and then not pull out those affirmation sheets and reread them every five seconds. So I will bury them with the rice and then cover them with everything else. And um, as you are adding ingredients into your bowl, it's really important to meditate on each thing and push your intention into that. So let's say, for example, I am adding in this quartz. I am going to meditate with this. Imagine what it is that I want this quartz to do and what I want this quartz to bring for me. And that, that will help the money bowl, um, your intention set and your spell working to be a lot more successful. So these are my ingredients, and again, you can use whatever you like, whatever you feel is uh, relates to prosperity and abundance and finances for you, but this is what I have laid out here.
after you've created your money bowl, it's important that you interact with it on a regular basis. I would recommend working with your money bowl at least once a week, just to keep it fresh, to keep things lodged into your subconscious mind, to keep you um, manifesting and that energy has not become stagnant. We wanna keep the energy from getting stagnant around the money bowl, so you constantly need to feed it and give it more life um, approximately once a week or so. But definitely, as far as the timing goes, do whatever feels right to you. If you feel like you need to do it every other week or every couple days, that is on you. You can totally decide and choose what works best for you. I will be interacting with my money bowl on a Thursday, every Thursday henceforth, because Jupiter, obviously, as I mentioned before, rules Thursday. So I want to continue that um, Jupiterian energy in my working. So after you have created it and you want to interact with it, there's a couple ways that you can go about this. If you want to put a candle next to it and light a candle once a week and let it burn down, that is an appropriate way to interact with it. You can also feed it by adding more coins to it or more little, more trinkets that pertain to good luck, financial abundance, etc. Uh, whatever you see fit. If you don't want to add more stuff to it, you can simply hover your hand over it, meditating on your intention and what it's going to feel like when those um, affirmations come to fruition and you have all the things that you set out to achieve with the money bowl. So just taking a little bit of time each week to put in your intention. You can also put a cup of coffee next to it if you want to give it offerings. Coffee is known to speed up spell work, so is cinnamon. So if you want to give that money bowl an offering, uh, I know a lot of people do that when, with deity work, but sometimes it works with spells as well put a cup of coffee next to it, and just kind of refresh that ever so often. So as long as you're keeping things active, you should be good to go. And um, I hope that some of this information was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. If you do actually create a money bowl, I would love to see it. I would love to know what you put into your money bowl. And um, let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much. Bye.